Good morning. Okay, so <clears throat> it is uh, Saturday, but, and yes, I do have to go to work, but it shouldn't be as bad because I know that a little more than half was finished yesterday. Um, also, my brother is home for like a hot second, so he's been at work also. Um, I'm gonna run and get some groceries really quickly from Aldi that I, you know, the usual eggs. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of anything else right now. I've had two cups of coffee. The Mew Mews. I would give up all of my sunglasses if these would go back into production. I have three pairs of these, two in this color and another with like a red frame, not red frame, a red lens. Like really, I would truly, truly give up all my sunglasses if these would go back into production. They are hands down my favorite. They look, they just always look great. They look great casually. They look great dressed up. They're just like the best sunglasses ever and they're so comfortable. Guys, I started watching Nurse Jackie. It's so good. Please go watch that show. I just finished up the fifth season and I think it's my favorite season. There's like a very healthy seven seasons for you to like binge watch. Every episode, I'm guessing it has to be around half an hour, right? Cause it's not, I feel like I'm going through it very quickly or maybe because it's on Netflix and I'm not Hulu cause Hulu has commercials, but there's so much love in this show. Like, you know, romantic love, but like the friendships, there's, it's so good. It's a dark comedy. And the first, I don't know, I feel like the first three seasons, I was a little bit like, oh my God, I don't, I don't have that much exposure to drug addiction. <laughs> so I'm like, mm, okay. And then, you know, it settles down a bit. So I'm guessing in the last two seasons, things are be gonna become more dramatic because there's no way that this show just, and then she's recovered because that seems like way too simple. But yeah, go watch that one. Okay, good morning. So, I'm kind of excited. I feel like oddly calm. This is like calming for me. I'm like, look, we can sit down and like share makeup. Okay, skincare first. In the last vlog, I shared with you guys that I had allergies. And when I have allergies, it's usually like, you know, coughing, sneezing, runny eyes. But every so often I get the whole like, dry eyes, crusty eyes, tender tenderness around the eyes. So if you guys have ever had that before where it's like, just any kind of dry eye situation where it's like you apply some eye cream, you're like, oh, it looks great. And then you go to start like putting an eye primer on and it starts crusting or you have like inner corner, like out of nowhere, you think you've literally like fixed the situation and then it comes back like immediately because it's just so sensitive or so dry or you're so allergic, whatever it is, this stuff. I have bought this and showed this to you guys before. It's the Skin Fix Extra Strength Sheer Face Ointment. 5% colloidal oatmeal, no steroids. I love this. I don't know of any product that I've seen at the drugstore that has more than 5% colloidal oatmeal. If you know, let me know because this stuff is so calming. So it comes out, it kind of looks like Vaseline. I was like, is there any petrolatum in it? And there is, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the seventh ingredient on the ingredients list. So I'm not too like, oh my God about it. Um, because there's always like that fear of milia under the eyes, which just depends on, you know, your under eye situation. So it comes out a little like Vaseline and I just like run it in between like my fingers until it almost becomes like an oil and then I press it on my under eye. First of all, the relief you will feel, amazing. And then second of all, like your eye makeup. Granted, as long as you press it in and kind of like evenly distribute it, you're not gonna, your makeup will go on like any other eye cream. But I just wanna share this because allergy season is in full force, at least by me. And if anyone has like, because eye drops can help you clear the redness in your eyes, but something like this really helps soothe the skin around it. And if you are like me and like, you know, you like to wear makeup, it really helps a lot. It for me, it didn't help. It like just fixed it for me. Do you know what I mean? Today's eye cream is the Clarins Multi-Active Eye Cream. The eye is written in French and I can't pronounce that, but um, I just want to share this with you. This was like last week. My allergy eye situation is great right now so I was testing this out I was testing this out before I had allergies and I just stopped because I was like I can't do this I need to like soothe my eyes and I'm back to using this this is you guys know how much I love the Clarins super restorative total eye concentrate this is a half size this 
is the best thing. This is like the most all-encompassing eye cream I've used. Something that's not like, you know, a retinol or this or that or that. Like this is just the best all all around eye cream I've ever used. I can like honestly say that. And a lot of you guys have bought it. I know you have. Because you tell me. This one, uh, it says you can use it day and night and it's good for like brightening and under eye circles and puffiness. Now, because I've used this before, I think this is great. It's like another all around like eye cream, but I would use this more for daytime because it does have that illuminating factor and it does feel really nice and your makeup will sit very beautifully on top of it. So first of all, pretty packaging. What I really like about this is the delivery system. It has a metal tip, which is not new. It's not like you're the first people to come out with like a metal tip on an eye cream. But what I really like about it, um, as opposed to the Kate Somerville, the Kate Somerville retinol one, it has a metal tip, but then you also release the product through a hole inside the tip. So it's like you're squeezing and then you're kind of also pressing, do you know what I'm saying? Like you're, and you could squeeze the product out first and then, you know, apply it, tap it in with your finger and then go over it with the metal uh, tip, which is fine. Also, that one is very flat. This one has like a little more, it feels, it looks like the pad of your finger. So it has like, it's more like convex. Is that the word I'm looking for? Oh my God, I feel so stupid right now. Anyway, this, the delivery system, the product comes out through here. You can see a little hole and then the other side has a metal tip just by itself. So for my purposes, I prefer that I can release or whatever, get out the eye cream, pat it under my eye, and then just turn it over and take the metal tip and then like tap it in and not have like product coming out of it, etc. etc. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm just like it's like a really like to some it might be a minute detail, but to me I'm like they thought about that. You know, and to me that like shows just a little more detail. Also the cap uh, you can't just like put it on any way you want. You have to put it in so that um, there's you can get the stopper for where the product comes out of. So that's that. But love this daytime, love this nighttime and daytime. So it's kind of like toss up. Like if you're gonna spend money, maybe just get this. You need a very tiny amount. And then this. Sometimes I feel like I need more because there's that metal tip and you really like that. You I like using a metal tip all the time. Like it doesn't matter what eye cream I put on, it just feels so like right now I like just want to put it, it just, it feels amazing. Like I don't know if you guys have ever indulged in just like actually using the metal tip with your eye creams. They feel so good. The face, we have the It Confidence in a Cream. Um, this is an excellent all around moisturizer. Uh, I'd share the vitamin B12 with you guys before and I feel like I'm so close to the camera. Ugh. I've shared that with you before and I really like it. This is another one of those like all around, you know, you can use this during the day, you can use it at night. It's just, it's just really nice. I have their Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. That's okay. Um, but I feel like the It Confidence in a Cream Eye Cream has come out and that I kind of want to try. No primer today. Um, the foundation is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. I am in the shade... 03 light beige and I have it in my cushion. I've labeled it, it says Milani on it. Um, I label, I only have like two, yes, two. I usually have two cushions going at any given time with foundations in it. So especially full coverage foundations. Ooh, look at my boobs. <laughs> um, I usually like putting them in a cushion compact and then using a damp beauty blender uh, with this because that way the full coverage doesn't look so incredibly full coverage. Under eye concealer is the By Terry Terribly Dense List Concealer in Medium Peach. I really love this. I bought this and then I like use it on and off and I was like, oh, whatever, it's, it's good. But then I started using it again, really, really good. Really, really like it. It doesn't match my under eye exactly, which is what I usually like. It does have a slight brightening effect, so you know, it's nice going for that. Sorry, before that, I used the Smashbox Look Less Tired in the Light, the crayon. And I just put a little bit, you know, in those like where you can see where it's darker. Have that and a little bit around the mouth. Um, I was like looking at my skin without anything on it today. I was like, it has looked better for sure. So had to use a little color correction. And then NARS Ginger on the face as concealer. Set the face with the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. This really is a phenomenal powder. I know I was into really bougie powders for a while. La Mer and La Prairie, Sicily. Um, I quite like the Bioterry, the YSL, Souffle, 
this is really really good at like that like $35 mark even I have to go back and like kind of compare and contrast but I really do like this a lot as you guys know because I've been using it in a lot of my videos okay so I set the t-zone with that powder and then on top of the foundation I went back with my I really do love this palette the Graftobian HD cream highlight contour palette mine is in the shade light so I just went in with this color along the cheekbones and a blend of these two a little bit here and a little bit on the chin area so loving this when I love a product when I try a product from a line that I probably haven't tried before my default is like okay where are their bronzers and where are their highlighters because those are like my favorite products so this is a bronzer from Graftobian this is in the shade medium this color is very like bronzer like so it's a bronzer plus blush vibe and since I always apply bronzer as a combo I would apply the way I would apply blonde bronzer and blush this is an excellent shade for me I have it on today do you guys see like it's not super bronzy I mean it, it is bronzy but it also like it gives my face like almost like that ready rosy undertone to it which I needed today <laughs> but I absolutely love this now this is very pigmented at first I was when I first watched it, I was like ooh, but it blends out really beautifully it doesn't blend out muddy I used natural bristle brushes I always find that like when you have something either very pigmented or something you're not sure if you're gonna get the product off ie like gelée formulas I'm, I tend to use a lot of gelée formulas so when I dip my brush into this I was like oh that's a lot of product coming off onto the brush but it blends out really pretty like if I go up here you can see where I have like bronzer down there like you can just see it but it really brightens the face and looks really nice <laughs> I've become like very like into Graftobian and I'm really excited to try out their other products. I know Andrew picked up their, what is it, the, the cream palette? I thought about that but it's like I, Andrew is super creative. I don't engage in creativity on this channel. Like I, the most things, like the most creative things I do is sometimes I'll do like shadow liner instead of regular liner. Actually today I combine shadow liner along with actual liner. I know, right? That's like as far out there as we go. And then for highlight, I used this Stila palette and I used the shade Kitten in the center, which is like the prettiest. These are just ridiculously stunning highlighters. There's Kitten and I have that down the nose, above the lips, and on the cheekbones. For the brows is the Black Up Matte Waterproof Brow Gel Powder. And this is in 02 and then the Benefit Precisely My Brow in number 6. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys. I got an appointment for microblading, so I'm very excited. It's in August, but we can talk about that later and like, you know, the story behind it. Okay, so for eye makeup, we love by Terry Bronze Moon. This is my absolute favorite, favoritist, 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 holy grail base in the world. Like I use this so every day. <laughs> So in a, in a maybe a couple vlogs ago, I showed you this one, the By Terry Stilo Black Star. This is in the shade Copper Crush. This is a new release for the summer, along with a whole slew of other shades. I saw all the swatches. There is a purple one that is gorgeous. Um, this one comes with a sharpener on the bottom, which is a nice addition because the original, these ones, crayons, do not, that does not at all decrease my love for them. Here's swatches. Are these like not my colors? Like <laughs> I would put this in the crease and I would put this on the lid and then be done with the day. And I be done with a day and be done with it. And I have done that many times since receiving this one. So gorgeous, right? I often, because this is kind of like, not exactly like Bobbi Brown Camel, which I use a lot, but very similar to that kind of like mustardy crease shade. This is like a very me thing. So I love it a lot. Now, when I had reviewed this, as well as like a whole slew of other colors. Uh, I had done swatches and I didn't really bother and or remember removing them because unless I apply like a liquid foundation or something very liquidy to swatch, I generally might forget about swatches. And I had come back maybe, I don't know, X amount of time later and they would not budge. Like once the Ombre Black Star set, they don't go anywhere. So I thought this was like the most long wearing thing ever until I swatched this and used this on my eyes. So this, I feel like you have a lot of time, not a lot of time because it's going to set, but you have time to kind of use your finger or a brush and then kind of like spread it, 
move it where you want, get it you know, into position. This thing, I would say do one eye at a time because this sets so quickly. The new ones are just like, okay, well, this specific shade, but I'm guessing the formula is very similar across the board. But I love this too, like I just, I don't know, like I feel like, am I really reviewing it? But I love it, I love both of these. This one has a little more shimmer to it, so I like using this much more under matte shadows, so the matte look isn't super matte. But this, like I have this on as a base today, obviously you're not gonna be able to see it very well, but usually when I do an eye like this, and I use this, you get a little bit of dimension, whereas with this, there's a lot less. So if you look really closely, this one has like shimmer, you know, you know what I'm saying? And then this one, it's not matte by any means. It has a more natural finish to it. Let me see if I can blend them out. Barely. Okay, that's not happening. Okay, so I was able to pull this one after swatching it for you, but this one. Do you see how this is not going anywhere? Oh, barely. <laughs> yeah, so basically this crazy crazy like i don't know sweat proof waterproof life proof if you have oily lids give this a go like i really think it'll work for you whereas this one you see still a little bit of give i love by terry so hard okay so on top of the lids you guys see these divina eyeshadows so before when i showed you this palette it was maybe like to here and now we have all these new shades so i use this shade today it's called bambi and this is the only color i used on my eyes today and you're like really yes really so that is a swatch of Bambi. How gorgeous is that color? I mean, I'm sure I have other colors similar to it, but I've just been really into this one. So essentially, I just use three different brushes. So, you know, in the crease, I use a fluffier brush to like blend it into the crease. On the lid, I use more of a flat shader to make it darker. And on the under eyes, we use like a pencil brush. So it's just one color, which I mean, it does look like one color, which is fantastic. I think it's really pretty. Love Divina eyeshadows. And then on the inner corners, I use the Catrice, what is this one called? We Are the Champagnes. And I have that on the inner corner. You can see a little shine, a little shimmer. We have MAC Feline in the tight line and then MAC Costa Riche on the lower water line. And then of course, time for a deeper for a little bit of that winged cat eyeliner. Lips. I have a little bit of MAC Strip Down on. And then I have this bite lipstick from <gasps> from Bite Beauty. Oh my god! I just stabbed it with my pinky. How does how does that even happen? <sighs> okay, you can see I hurt it a little bit. Um, this is the shade that Andrew and I made when I was in New York in October at the Bite Beauty Lab. How gorgeous is this color? Do you love it? So, oh my god. Okay smells amazing so Andrew texted me I don't know a week or two ago and he's like I use our lipstick and I was like really <laughs> because if you used it then I'm gonna start using it because I have literally just been sniffing it like an addict because it smells so good and even he's like oh my god it smells so good I'm like I know so it's a combination of citrus and mint so if you guys ever go to the buy beauty lab and you make a lipstick I highly recommend doing this scent it smells awesome so that's what's on the lips don't we love it it's a very me shade Andrew, like, you know, he does a lot more looks, so, but it looks really great on him, too. I absolutely love this lipstick. It's so good. Okay, so that was, like, the very first makeup sharing. Not first. We did that little mini get ready with me, but that didn't, I don't even remember doing that. But, um, this felt so good and so nice. I have so many things to share with you. I have, like, a cute purse I want to share with you, a clutch that's coming in this week, um, a huge skincare epiphany. Not huge, but, like, suspicions confirmed um i don't know what else i need to get changed so i can go and i will talk to you guys okay so it's mother's day today and uh my hair looks so much better now than it did like i don't know 10 minutes ago when i was like doing the makeup stuff maybe putting clothes on and changing clothes like gave it a toss okay now the sun is out it wasn't out before okay anyway so mother's day we're gonna go have reservations at a steakhouse downtown it's noon um and then for a gift this year i did a if you've watched previous vlogs you know that um she has like um an outdoor kind of mini kitchen basically she can like cook outside right so every time she goes to prepare to cook anything outside she like has this little like basket that she fills like 
everything and like oil salt you know soy sauce but she just has this thing there's like paper towels like it's like everything she needs outside so she always like drags this basket in and out and it takes multiple trips like then she'll have to get her walk and then she'll have to get like maybe some dish well i think she keeps dish detergent whatever just imagine like you're in and out constantly because you don't have everything you need so i got her this cart that i picked up off of um bed bath and beyond it's like really sturdy it's just like a utility cart and like i'm just so excited because i'm gonna have um i mean i could assemble it my, my brother's home so i'm gonna have him assemble it and then we'll kind of like figure out how much distance she wants in between each shelf I'm just so excited because then it's going to be so much easier for her. And then she doesn't have to like walk in and out all the time as much, especially if she's ever like cooking by herself. So um, today's Sunday, right? And yesterday's vlog, I was reading all of your comments. I didn't realize that like where I worked was like a thing. I just figure work is work and you work a lot and then whatever. But Apparently there was curiosity. Whenever like more than a couple of you will ask the same question, I'll be like, hmm, I bet other people are asking, but they're just not commenting. So I work for my parents, or we work together, whatever you want to call it. It's a family business. Um, I say that in that like there's multiple people who we are related to that we work together. So amongst other people. Um, and that's, I guess that's all I'm really gonna share. I don't know like if what I do is important, but I also really don't, it's not really mine to share, you know what I mean? I love this lipstick so much. I'm so happy Andrew broke the seal and then now we can both enjoy this lipstick. We have to name it, we should give it a name. I don't know what we should name it. I feel like every lip product that he's given me has like significance to it, kind of, sort of. Oh, so, like I told you guys, I'm watching Nurse Jackie, right? And I'm in the, am I in the final season now? Almost. I'm either at the very end of the sixth season or I'm starting the seventh season. First of all, I mean, I love this show. It's an, it's such a, an amazing show. But, and I'd mentioned that I hadn't had that much exposure to kind of addict behavior. I mean, please God never let me love someone or care about someone that is an addict. I can't, I don't know how this happens. I don't know how it works. It's very scary. Um, I mean, you read stories about addicts, you read an article about addicts, or sometimes like it's touched on in shows randomly, but this show is, you know, clearly about an addict and it's just, wow. I just pray that I never have to encounter it and deal with it because it looks difficult <laughs> i know i sound like some kind of like dilettante or something as far as <laughs> knowing different kinds of people go but um i don't really think that's the case i've just never known an addict people who do drugs maybe uh but not like junkies <laughs> Anyway, it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I know a lot of you guys who watch have kids. Um, a lot of you guys share a lot of stuff with you. Oh, also, I want to, um, because work has been a bit, you know, busy. I, if you guys have emailed me, I'm sorry if I haven't responded to you yet. I should be able to respond to you this coming week, which means I should have already responded to you because this vlog is going up in the future. Good morning. Um, I have two, two purses to share with you. Um, the first thing on like more affordable end of the spectrum is this purse. Isn't this cute? Some of you guys might not be into it. So I, like the rest of the internet, I'm fairly obsessed with the Chloe Nile bag. You know, that bracelet bag. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll consider getting one. Now that was just like a preliminary thought. Obviously getting your hands on one is damn near impossible. So also if to get like the color you want or the size you want, it's just like, too, it's just, they're hard to get. And I'm like, it's kind of like a trendy piece. So maybe I'm not gonna be like obsessed with it. And I'm like, it's so hard spending for me. It's so hard spending on kind of more fun purses. So this is from Nasty Gale. I still have the tag on it. They have one in a uh, patent and it's, gold a very yellow gold and then they have it in a patent pewter like a gunmetal and i got both of them and i'm returning them because it's just like i'm gonna scratch them up and even though the retail for this is like 78 
I got it off of Bloomingdale's. They were doing 20% off for card members and then 15 for non. So I got 15% off of this. No tax, free shipping. And Ebates was doing 15% cash back. So I got this for a really good price. Oh, and I had like a 20, 20 some dollar gift card, 25, something. I got it for a really good price. So you have like a little card spot here. You have this like this. This is a flat chain, um, very important, totally uh, detachable. When, when the chains aren't flat and you wear a purse for X amount of time, it starts digging into your skin, very uncomfortable. Um, and the inside looks like this. You have some card spots. You have three card spots, um, and it looks small. And I have like a iPhone 6 Plus, fits in here perfectly. Not like snug, but like fits in there, there's movement. And like I said, it's by Nasty Gal. Um, I think this, amongst the other versions of this, there's like a red one with like silver studs. They're exclusive to Bloomingdale's. The actual Nasty Gal website had like a white one with black which was super cute, but I just tend to not buy those kind of purses because I wear a lot of black and any light colored purse ends up with black marks on it. So this is the first piece I wanted to show you. I'm kind of excited. It's like a very like cute, but still kind of edgy for me, like evening or going out. Maybe I'll even just use it in general when I don't feel like carrying a lot of stuff. The next piece is by Christian Louboutin. Yep. Now, I had a purse from them and I sold it because A, the gunmetal hardware, like I thought I could enjoy it because I love studs, but it was just like, I wasn't wearing because I'm like, this doesn't match any, not that I need my metals to match all the time, especially when they're like further away from each other, but the purse was like just heavier for my purposes because I'm always carrying things crossbody and I can always feel the weight here. So I saw this clutch, I'm obsessed. Because this is like all the elements that I love in clothing. Color-wise, I tend to love reds or like say bright greens. If you see me in color, it's usually those two colors. Um, we have animal print, which I love animal print. And then it's gold studs. These studs are placed in perfectly. Like this is just, ugh. So lovely. Um, for those of you guys who ask where I get like the luxury pieces that I buy, I like stock Rulala um, because I've mentioned before, for me, there's no tax. So it makes a big difference in these huge purchases. This one I picked up off of Gilt, but Gilt was doing the 15% cash back off of Ebates. Ebates has been running it. They still might be running it. I'll like denote in the description box if they are still doing that. But so 15% back, uh, cash back off of Ebates. Um, I also went on to a raise and picked up some discounted gift cards. You know, you just work it out so that your price goes down significantly. I think this runs for $11.50, uh, but I haven't done the math to figure out how much I got it for. I just know that it was fairly decent because you have to kind of wait for things to come through like, oh, how much cashback really did they give you slash, um, you know, that kind of thing. So this is the inside all red it has a chain which i'm probably not going to use like i yeah probably not going to use the chain gold hardware there's a zipper section here and there's one two ten card slots really nice i just planned i was like this would be so cute in the summer i know studs in the summer I, that's just how i am but i was just like it'll like break up any kind of black outfits that's all that's always my goal kind of with purses sometimes is to use it to break up an outfit because i'm usually head to toe black and then i'll have like maybe gold sandals or something on but i just like this and i like that this isn't patent um even though i love the way patent looks like this part is patent oh there's just so much going on here like i feel like if you describe this to somebody it's like that sounds ugly and busy but like when you look at the way it's constructed and the way it's made it's also light like it's not a heavy clutch i'm just so excited for this like you know like this is gonna be like it's so me i'm so in love so in love haven't started using it um, but we will. You'll start seeing it, you know, once it gets, I couldn't think of the word, once it gets warmer out. Okay, so I really wanted to do a Trader Joe's haul, but you have to go to Trader Joe's. I did not do that, <laughs> so that'll be in next week's vlog. Um, but I got into Aldi and I wanted to show you guys that. So I got these, like, mini bottles of water. Um, they're perfect because I like keeping water in the car. 
They're called juniors. Uh, I can never, I generally can't finish a whole bottle of water, so these are perfect for the car when I need to like take a pill or if I'm choking, you know, that kind of thing. Got their natural creamy peanut butter, gonna give that a try. Um, and my favorite, bread and butter chips. Chinese grocery, we have a case of coconut water. I didn't go to the one that has the other brand that I like, the C-H-A-O-K-A-H. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I have this rice seasoning. This is my favorite one. It has just seaweed, salt, sesame, sugar. I think that's it. Also some MSG. <laughs> My favorite, scallion pancakes. They're the cheapy ones. These are like $1.69. They're the best ones. Two bags of the Old Town White Coffee. This has 25% less sugar. They didn't have the original, so this is like the second option for me. And then the third option would be like the one with sugar cane. And then the fourth option would be the hazelnut flavor. Um, I really wanna go to Malaysia. I think Malaysia's on my like bucket list because between their food, and their coffee, I really want to go. Also, this was very exciting. I already ate one, obviously. Okay, so usually they have this in like a combo pack. There is grapeseed oil, which is my favorite, and then there's olive oil and sunflower oil. I really only like the grapeseed one, so I never buy the combo packs. But now at the one I went to, the grocery, they had one that was all grapeseed oil. Lastly, okay, Haichu Fizzies, soda flavor and orange flavor. These are so good. They taste like some kind of like magical Asian flavor, sweet bubble gum. They're not bubble gum, but oh, they're so good. They're not super fizzy, but the flavors are awesome. Okay, I wanna review something for you. It's this thing. The foot thing that I showed you a couple couple of vlogs ago. So this is what the feet look like. I feel so weird showing you guys feet. I don't know, right? Is it a little weird? But uh, I was gonna show you guys earlier, but I was like, my feet had been encased in like closed-toed shoes, so it seemed kind of pointless. Um, but now they're not, and I've been in sandals this whole two days. So the feet are dry. So this is the foot file. Now prior to like this little demo, I've used it, obviously you can see. And I like it. Um, I think I like the shape a lot. It's very ergonomic. You have a really good grip. This is like a really good amount of abrasiveness. Is that a word? Uh, I will have to test this out later. You know, when it gets into like deeper into summer and your feet start looking really not cute. What I really love about this uh, foot cream is it's not greasy. You know, I use a lot of foot creams more so obviously in the summer and it's always great to apply them your feet look really pretty and they look kind of shiny but then you try to put your sandals on and if you're wearing just a flip-flop your foot is moving everywhere so you're literally just in the car without any shoes on just kind of like waiting for it to dry or at least that's me or you're just like sitting on your bed or you're propped up on the couch because you don't want to walk around because it's greasy. So I have a little bit of this cream on here now and I'm just going to show you what it looks like on this foot versus the other foot. What I really like about this is it absorbs and it doesn't feel greasy. You still get that like pretty foot look, but you can like immediately put socks on if you're going to, if that's like what you need to do, you can immediately put your sandals on. Like it just absorbs. And even though it's very thin, you still stay moisturized. Now, I feel like lotions is a very difficult thing, whether it be foot cream, lotion, and hand cream. It depends on that person, how long it will last. But do we see? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Apparently it also gave that foot a tan. I don't know what happened, that's so weird. I hate showing you my feet. I feel like my feet are really weird looking. Oh my God. This is just a demonstration, you know. I'm a beauty vlogger, blogger. So I'm just gonna do the other foot so my tan matches apparently. Now, usually anyone talking about Sol de Janeiro products loves the scent. Now I love the scent of this too, but it's much lighter. And I think I like that. I'm pretty sure it was done on purpose because if it were not, you don't need your foot cream to be super, uh, fragrant also i feel like when it is fragrant i prefer it just to be mint any kind of fragrance needs to mask stinky feet smell i think so i think they were very smart to make this more lightly fragranced but yes thumbs up for this foot cream so earlier in the vlog i wanted 
to or I said I was going to share some kind of skincare epiphany and or confirmation and it is that my skin hates silicone now it's like Jen skin doesn't like yes Jen skin doesn't like something I always talk about skincare or foundation or primers like no big deal my face can handle it but if you've also watched you know that I don't like silicone or I had like suspicions I'm like I feel like it clogs my pores or I feel like it's too humectant it's like kind of you know suffocating but I've never like had any confirmation because nothing bad has ever happened it was just always a feeling so I think because of that feeling you know how like you just avoid it because you think something's going to happen so this is the product that did it my hair looks like crazy hair right now um, this is the Rodeal, I think that's how you pronounce it, Dragon's Blood Sculpting Gel. I have tried a lot of products from this brand. I love them. They are the sister brand to NipFab. NipFab is like the drugstore version. This is like the high-end luxury version, owned by the same person. I follow her on Instagram. She's like super bomb-ass boss lady person. Okay, so, um, there's a spray in this line that I also really love. So, I had put this on at night one day and I was like this feels really smooth it feels very like I could feel the plumping because it's a sculpting gel and then I sprayed the hyaluronic kind of acid spray over it woke up the next morning face looked pretty good so I was like okay this is, can be used day and night and since it's quite smoothing let me just use it for my daytime moisturizer um, so you know I cleanse my face put this on by maybe like 10 or 11 I could see like bumps coming up like not zits per se but bumps and then I my chin was really itchy and it was just like kind of not hivey but like kind of like a hive where your skin doesn't like something it's sensitive to something so I could not wait to get home to remove this and I did and I was like looking at the ingredients I'm like what is in here the second ingredient is dimethicone okay so I don't like silicones. It's official. My skin doesn't like it. I've never had, I think I actually have never had a silicone on my skin for that long. And any kind of silicone primer I've used, I must have had a moisturizer that did not have, you know, a silicone in it. So I feel like the reason I've been getting away with silicone in primers when I do use one that has silicones is that my moisturizer has been acting as a barrier. So I started Googling. So now I have all of the most common silicones that are in skincare. I'm more so concerned about skincare because that is directly on my face. Whereas primers, I'm like, we'll see. It doesn't really matter because I don't really use like pore filling primers anyway. So what I'm going to avoid now are dimethicone, methicone, trimethicone, cyclomethicone, um, amodimethicone, amo trimet wow anyway anything that ends in cone i'm gonna avoid because i'm pretty sure my skin's not gonna like it i can however use water soluble silicones which are which end in silazane the most common one i think is cyclopentasilazane and then anything that's like polymer copolymer polybutene that kind of thing i think are always much much lower on the ingredient list and i don't think those will affect me that much so Basically, I went through all of my skincare to see what I needed to just remove because um, while I don't really get a blemish that often, I'm like, how many of the blemishes that I do have outside of hormonal ones are actually just being caused by me using silicone on my skin, like directly, you know what I mean? So I went through a lot of my skincare and I went through a lot of my primers. I was less so concerned about the primers, but I still wanted to know, especially the ones that I like using often. My pure no filter primer, you guys know I really love this. And I looked it up. Also, it's very interesting to see who lists their ingredients um, on their websites or on Sephora. Ulta is really good about listing ingredients. Um, but I, it's just very interesting to see how readily available the ingredient list is. I know like when you purchase the product, it's on the box, but I usually pitch the box. I'm not like, you know, but now I won't. Now I like have that list in my phone. I will always be able to reference it when I'm looking at products to buy. This has the water soluble one, I think pretty in the first like two ingredients. And then the dimethicone is like a blend as the third or fourth ingredient. But again, I'm not so much concerned about primers as I am about skincare. So the Estee Edit, I quite like this, the Beam Team Hydrate and Glow. It is, I can't find the ingredients for this. Don't know why. Things that I'm kind of really sad about are the 
pour vanishing stick from the essay edit obviously most of these kind of sticks are going to have silicone in it these two are more heartbreaking the cover effects clear cover spf 30 this makes your skin look amazing it has spf 30 massive just it's basically dimethicone yes and then the cover effects custom blot drops also i used to like enjoy putting these like down the center of the like just around the nose area but i don't know sad I actually haven't looked up the Giorgio Armani UV Master Primer. I think this should be okay though because I just need it to be okay. Primers that I really do love, that I'm very happy to report don't have any silicones in them or at least don't have the dimethicone silicone type. Hourglass Mineral Veil, very excited. I was so concerned that my Pure Hydrogel lift this stick would have it because you know sticks i use this on the under eyes all the time i don't always mention it but i do just look it's like halfway gone i don't know if you can see that but i love this so i'm really happy that this doesn't have it also the milk blur stick this is a sample size i use this every so often does not have it so excited about that they have a blurring spray that i was reading about but i think that has it so i'm probably not going to get it the becca backlight priming filter very good to report happy to report doesn't have it oh and andrew your becca ever ever matte pour is it i don't know whatever the one that andrew uses is good to go not that he's sensitive to silicones that i know about but i don't know i'm weird like that i'm like wait this person that i care about is are is their stuff okay <laughs> um the guerlain gold primer totally okay so those primers are good. I mean, essentially what happens for me when I apply any kind of silicone is I feel like it dries out my skin a little bit so that anything that I put on top of it also looks dry. So I don't know if that's just like my skin reacting to it, like no, but that's kind of how it goes. And apparently um, when it is applied directly to my skin, my skin starts to get very irritated. All that being said, I had received this, I don't know, maybe a couple of vlogs ago I showed this to you. It's the YSL Touche Club Blur Perfector. So it's a balm powder. So what you do is, it's really gorgeous, this packaging. You, it comes with a sponge. I don't particularly like applying like solid products with a sponge. I prefer liquids. But this, I just use my finger and I press it in and you can just kind of press it into where you want. Now I know a lot of people don't enjoy this particular type of delivery system because you're putting your fingers in it. However, when you have a silicone primer and you're applying it from a tube, I think you end up applying too much. Um, or wherever the first area you kind of get in to, like you get more of the silicone primer in there. Whereas with this, because it's kind of like a touch, you really apply very little and you can build it if you need to. So if you just really want to kind of like fill out the pores around your nose, you can do that with very minimal product. You know what I mean? Because I don't know, maybe personally, I don't have very deep pores. So I don't know how much you need to apply to get that coverage, but I'm guessing too much is a bad thing also. I think if you're oily, you could enjoy this more because my skin reacts to silicone in like a dry way. So I don't know why I did that, <laughs> like attack. While you can use this as some sort of like touch up, i.e. use a blotting sheet if you're oily and then apply this on top of it, it will do some blurring and it will do some mattifying. But I think it just depends on your skin type, whether for me, it'll make me a little drier or if you're oily, it might not blend into the surrounding makeup very well. So I'm kind of sad because I love everything in the YSL Touche Cla. Like I love the Touche Cla. I love the Touche Cla foundation. I have total plans to pick up the Touche Cla cushion, which I'm super excited about. Also the packaging. YSL does not fail ever. Packaging is always stunning. But this, because of my skin type and or my sensitivity to silicones, this is just not gonna work for me. Also, and if you are someone that enjoys like silicone type products to fill in your pores or to mattify, um, while I do think you can find products similar to this, I just think that I like the fact that you can kind of like touch on a very small amount. I'm, I'm all about minimalism. I mean, the way I like to apply makeup is like the least amount possible, like the least amount of foundation, the least amount of concealer, the least amount of powder. So for me, something like this makes total sense. Whereas if you're someone that really likes to put on a lot of stuff, maybe not so much for you. I also went through my skincare. This Laneige sleeping mask, basically everything I'm going to show you has like the 
dimethicone in it, um, at least in the top three ingredients-ish. I didn't have very good luck with this, so I'm kind of like, don't really care. This I'm super sad about. It's the Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. There's also a moisturizer in this line that does not have the dimethicone, but this has it. But this is so beautiful. I had bought this after using so many samples, but obviously when I use samples, I, I'm not using it every day. And I'm, I definitely, if I do use it every day, it's not morning and night. So it's never like on my skin for 24 hours. But this stuff is so good. Just my face hates it. This line, the Peter Thomas Roth Laser Free Resurfacer, um, it, I think it's their Dragon's Blood line. And this is their serum, and this is their gel cream. They have an eye cream. So good. It actually really works because I use it every night for three nights in a row, and I could see my skin turning slightly pink, um, and it was like sloughing off skin. But I can't continue to use this because silicone. Even skincare that I haven't tried yet, like this Pixie Water Skin Drink, yep, has it. The H2O Beauty Oasis Hydrating Treatment, yep, has it. Actually, I think some of the stuff that I really like from Clinique might have it also, but I think it just depends. For me, it's a matter of where it is on the list. If it's in the top three ingredients, I definitely am just going to nix it completely from like my arsenal. Um, the Lancer, I love Lancer products. This moisturizer, it's in there. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel, yep, in there. Now, the reason I'm kind of sharing this with you is to basically say if silicones are in like the top three to maybe five ingredients, I probably won't buy it. So you probably won't see me review it. I guess not review it, like, I don't really think of anything as reviews anymore because I don't really buy anything. It's been like years since I've bought anything like specifically to review because I felt like the channel is much more organic when I just buy what I like or buy what I am into versus whatever's popular or like the newest product. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes, so feet are asleep. Need to stand up. Need to get to work. I will see you next week. Yep.